Terry Fletcher from Palace Poultry. With Palace under investigation by the Serious Ford Office, he's waiting before he speaks at length, but he wanted to read out a statement on air. He did so, and we kept talking after that. I'd like to ever refute all the allegations against Palace Poultry selling KG to this free range. We've only ever bought and purchased free range to make it the shortfall of the free range market and to meet their requirements. I'm working to clear my family name of all wrongdoing and until the investigations are complete, I can't elaborate too much further. We've only ever supplied free range eggs and have done so over the past 25 years. We continue to supply free range eggs to the marketplace. That's about where we are at the moment. Um, well, there's obviously a few questions you'd like to ask me there. I think the most important question is did you knowingly pass off cage eggs as free range? No. Did you buy cage eggs and then sell them as free range? We did not. We have got photo we've got photos of the product being picked up in free range wrappers and bits and pieces and we're led to believe by this turkey that's what we were purchasing and we on sold them in good faith and now it's turned around and bit us in the ass. This man has told us very explicitly, absolutely explicitly, that he was selling you cage eggs. He's a liar. As of he said, he doesn't know me. Doesn't know, he knows me well. He's known me for about 20 years, and I just can't believe that he says he has never heard my name before. That is an absolute crock of bullshit. Okay. He's printed invoices out there which have hit the media, which are on the newsroom and bits and pieces. We have never seen the goddamn invoices. It's the first time it's ever surfaced. So, so do yeah. you have invoices from him saying free range eggs? No, we don't. He invoices all his product as eggs, pellet seven, pellet sixes, jumbo, whatever he puts on them. That's how he does it. He issues a supplier number, what he writes down, we don't know where they come from, and uh, that is for traceability. That's about all we've got that we we have to relinquish, you know, what, what's there. We, so, so, you were of, so you were selling them as free-range eggs? In, in good faith? In good faith. Where were they from? We don't know. From Robert, from, well, we can't disclose his name, but, um, yes, from the per person we purchased them from. Um, he, su he supplied our, our product for us for quite a number of years, as did other people. So, so, so Terry, forgive me, but you were buying free-range eggs from this man for quite a number of years, and you yes. didn't know where they were from? Nobody actually knows where your product comes from, when you, because they, all they do is they put a supplier number on, on your invoice. Okay, so what was the supplier number, and were they a free-range hey. farmer? Well, we, John, we don't know. We don't know who, what, or where they actually come from. He supplies them, supplies the product, and what he does is he writes a supplier number from one to ten on our on our invoice. And if ever there is a problem, like the eggs are, are, are very dirty and bits and pieces because they haven't been cleaned, and we have to go through and clean them, then we go back to him and we say, "Hey, we've got a problem with supplier number so and so." And he goes, oh, right, leave it with me, I'll deal with it. And that's about how, where it ends up. What price were you paying for the eggs? Were you paying a cage egg price or a free range price? Well, we, we buy, we, we pay uh, on the $8 market around the thing and we're paying seven seventy five. and then we had to go in and clean and do and, and real rate the product. Right. You know, so is that a cage egg price or a free range price? No, it's a free range price. So your, your cage bird prices for them was, it was around about six dollars or something and we were up around the 775 and in all the years how many years did you buy eggs from this man for oh, probably about six or seven and in all those years you never once said hey what free range supplier are they coming from he won't disclose it because then we go to directly everybody that does this stuff and buy them not just us that buy product right there is a serious fraud office investigation taking place isn't there into you Correct. into, into Correct. your practices Correct. And and what do you believe they are looking at? Oh, well, just what the issue that you've just that's been brought up now. So the passing um, off as of caged eggs as yes. free range eggs. Correct. That's what they're investigating, whether or not you did that. Yep. Yep. Correct. And you are saying very explicitly, whilst that investigation is going on, that you didn't. 
correct. Not once. We can't. We can't. No, no, not once. Outside of our our conscience, we are clear. We've done. We've bought the product in good faith, and we've sold the product in good faith. We've got we've got invoices like I'm trying to say to you that this man has concocted out of thin air for some reason that we've never seen, which puts a very bad light on our business. Uh, are you, sorry, are you, are, you, are, you, are you accusing your supplier of inventing interview, uh, in, invoices after the fact? Uh, well, we, we have never seen them, John. We've never ever, ever had an invoice that's, that's on the, the newsroom we've got on the social media. We have never seen the goddamn invoice. We supplied our invoices to SFO. They are nothing like this one that surfaced. We just, where the bloody hell does this come from? Terry, look, I, I know you are hamstrung by the investigation, and also it's a terrible line, so I, wa I want to end w w with, with, a, with a very simple, clear, and explicit question to which you can give an absolutely straight answer. Did you knowingly purchase cage eggs and on-sell them as free-range? We did not. That's Palace Poultry owner Terry Fletcher.